the head loss in feet and pressure loss in pounds per square inches due to friction for a cast iron pipe with nominal diameter of 8 inches, transporting water at a flow rate of 3 cubic feet per second over a distance of 2,450 feet. Use Hazen-Williams roughness coefficient C equals to 100. If the head loss expressed in feet and expressed as pressure does not give you an indication of which formula you should use, another big clue in this problem is the Hazen-Williams roughness coefficient. So I would go to FE handbook and look for head loss and use the formula that has the roughness coefficient C in it. So let's do this. Let's type head loss, and then we'll keep scrolling down until I find the formula for the head loss with the roughness coefficient in it. This is Darcy Weisbach. It does not have the roughness coefficient. So I keep scrolling, keep scrolling. And uh, here it is. Circular pipe head loss equation expressed in feet. And right below, right below is circular pipe head loss equation exp expressed as pressure. So these are the two formulas that we will use in this problem today. And this is found under the civil engineering section, water resources. So we have head loss equals to 4.73 L, which is the pipe length, divided by C, Hazen-William coefficient, power 1.852, multiplied by the diameter expressed in feet, power 4.87 and multiplied by Q, which is the flow, power 1.852. So let's write these formulas down and calculate the head loss first expressed in feet and then express as pressure. I'll say first head loss expressed in feet. So formula says head loss equals to 4.73 multiplied by the length divided by roughness coefficient power 1.852 multiplied by diameter power power 487 and multiplied by the discharge power 1.852 let me just verify that this is correct okay and now let's just substitute we have 4.73 multiplied by the length which is 2,450 feet. Roughness coefficient is 100 power 1.852. Multiply by the diameter and pay attention here. Diameter must be in feet. So we have 8 inches. In feet, it's going to be 0 0.667 power 4.87 and the discharge is 3 cubic feet per second which is exactly the unit we need it to be for this formula and this is power 1.852 equals and now just use your calculators and I'll use mine. Let's see how much this is. So I'll have 3, 1.852 power. I'll get 2, 450 multiplied, 473 multiplied. Okay, now lower we've got 100 power 1.852.
And then we also have 0 0.667 power 487. And then multiply this and then we divide. All right, so I get 125.94. So I'll say approximately 126, let's say 125.94. And this is approximately 126 feet. And looking at the answers here, you can see how you have two options possible. You can eliminate B and C. We have to calculate now the head loss expressed is pressure to find out if A or D is the correct answer. So two, let's say head loss expressed as pressure pounds per square inches and P equals two, four, 52, Multiply by Q power 185. And below we have roughness coefficient power 185. Multiplied by the diameter. Power 487. All right. And in this formula, we need pressure. Pressure is coming out in pounds per square inches per foot of pipe. And we'll see what that means. Q needs to be in gallons per minute. So there's some transformations we have to make. Diameter is in inches and hazen william roughness coefficient. So let's first work on transforming the discharge from cubic feet per second, so we have three cubic feet per second into gallons per minute, into gallons per minute. And we're gonna use the unit section to do that. So I would go to the units. Let's scroll down here a bit. And let's see if we can find cubic feet to gallons. So we have to transform cubic feet to gallons. So in order to do that, we have to multiply cubic feet by 7.481. Okay, one cubic foot is equal to 7.481 gallons. Okay, so we're gonna do one cubic foot is equal to seven, four, eight, one gallons. So now we got rid of the cubic feet. To transform seconds into minutes, we know that one minute has 60 seconds. And this is how we also got rid of the seconds and now we can find out how much this is let's see three multiplied by seven point four eight one and sixty multiplied and i'm getting that the flow q let's say do this so q is going to be equal to one thousand 346.58 gallons per minute or the way they say it gallons per minute so now this is the value we're going to use in this formula for the discharge q now let's just substitute i'm going to have 4.52 multiplied by 1,346.58. 
divided by 100 power 1.85 and here power 1.85 let's not forget that and the diameter needs to be in in uh, in feet i'm going to do a quick search and diameter now must be oh look at that diameter must be in inches so it's very important to check this part check the units every single time so you have diameter in inches so i'm going to add here eight power four point eighty seven and now let's calculate that. So I have 1,346.58, 1.85, multiplied. And then at the bottom I have 100 power 185 and eight power 487. Multiplied and divided. Okay, so I get a value of 0, 0.0. Give me a second. Okay, 0 0.022. I get 0 0.02219. And this is as per Effie handbook, this is the pounds per square inches per foot of pipe. So let's write this down. It's pounds per square inches per foot of pipe. Now you notice how this value doesn't match any of the values here, right? That's because it's per foot of pipe. In order to find out how much is per the entire pipe, we have to multiply this value by the length of the pipe so the total pressure loss is equal to p the pressure loss per foot of pipe multiplied by the length and this is going to be equal to 0 0.02219 multiplied by 2450 and this gives me a value of 54.4 and this is pounds per square inches so we have the head loss expressed as pressure, which is 54.4, and we have the head loss expressed as in feet, which is 126. So it seems that the correct answer is A. So in other words, the total pressure loss of 54.4 pounds per square in inches is equivalent to a head loss of 126 feet.